What's up everyone? I'm the Devastating Just Cause and this is DJC Game Studios and it is a nostalgic show as nostalgic as the Sky Spy on my shirt. Yay, kites! Whoa! Alright, that's enough. Enough playing with the Sky Spy. It's not like it's a baby bat. Baby bat! Yay! Enough with the kite play. We're here to talk about nostalgia because I have a nostalgic pickup for my Atari 2600 childhood inbox collection. Now I have a few, right? We've got, well, the ones, I, I have a couple that I picked up just because like they were good pickups, but ones I had as a, as a kid were Video Olympics, uh, Asteroids, Barnstorming, Combat, Circus, Missile Command, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then I found all these M Networks ones, which is amazing. But I walked into a store, and the only two box games they had were two of my all-time favorites. I have them on cartridge, but do I have them complete in box? No, is the answer. Well, now I do, it's yes. And the first one is Enduro. Enduro, the racing game, Activision game, complete in box. I am stoked to have this. This one had you driving through the nighttime. They had a really cool fog scene where it looked like and you only saw the brake lights and you had to just it's a very it's just a good driving where you have to avoid stuff kind of game it's really fun i had a lot of hours putting this as a kid put into this as a kid and then of course one of my all-time favorites and probably the last thing i played on the atari back in the early 80s or mid 80s and that's midnight magic atari 2600 go full tilt well i went full tilt and then then i learned that my buddy got a Nintendo in Super Mario Brothers, and this was the last, we were playing this for a couple few weeks. A couple few is, is my new way of saying stuff. But the, I really thought this was so cool. Um, for the time, like, it was a cool pinball game. I loved this pinball game. So that was, that's two of my pickups, but I'm not just gonna show you that I got the boxes and that, and that's it, and then throw them back on the shelf. Let's play these. Very professional here. Let's play these. Well, here it is. One of my favorite Atari 2600 games of all times. One of the last few games that I really got into. Uh, my buddy had this across the street from me. Um, just a couple houses down across the street. We uh, He had gotten just gotten a Nintendo just after we were really playing this. We were into this game for like a good couple weeks. Um, and then he got a Nintendo. And that's when we were introduced to Super Mario. So after that... Pfft, this was probably the last big game I got into on the Atari. And uh, anyways, it's pinball, so... But something about it, I just thought it was really cool. The aspect was right. It wasn't, like, the wide screen. It made it look... And I can't remember if you played... If you pressed the... If you pressed up and down... I think it was... Was it up? But I can't remember if tilt was the button. It, remember, it's a joystick and a, and a button, so... And then maybe left and right did left to right flippers... Like I said, it was probably 1984 when I last played this, or somewhere around there. Um, or 86, when it, yeah, something like, whenever, the right before Nintendo came out. It was pro, so it was probably like 85. I was listening to LL Cool J's Bigger and Deffer. Alright, well let's let's try it out. I, like, I might have to relearn it. Alright. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So, wow. So you get the more powerful shots if you do them, you know, per flipper. Oh, shoot. Well, that wasn't fun. Maybe not. It might be the same. I'm like, oh! So you gotta get those targets up there. Oh, that was just awful. Was that it? 
Ball four, I have four. Was it a six? Do I have six balls to begin? I can't remember. I guess for game one. Oh. No, here's ball. Yeah, it must be. Come on, get up there. That's what I'm looking to get. God, those sounds. Just remembering those sounds. Oh, shoot. So it's five. It's five balls. All right. 50. I think we can do better than 5150. Here we go. No! Oh! Oh, I thought I saved it. So I wonder, is there a... I can't remember if there was a tilt. See, now I'm just messing around. I wanted to see if there was a tilt. I guess not. I don't know what make... I know Intellivision had a tilt on theirs. But that is not one of my, like, I love this way better than Intellivision Pinball. I love Intellivision, but their their pinball, to me, I did not personally enjoy it, because maybe I was terrible at it. But I just like this, because it just seemed more like a pinball game. Come on. Oh, it bounced. Oh, shoot. You imagine I thought this was like the coolest thing ever back in the day, and it's just like so, oh. All right. Gotta get to the le to the second level here. Here we go. Oh, restarting. Just want to get some targets. So well, at least we're beating that. We beat our first score so far. Oh, bounce. Nice. Trying to clear all those targets up on the top. Come on. There we go. <laughs> no! Oh, 12,925? Should we go one more? We'll go one more round. It's Midnight Magic. Let's have some fun. That was, that was unfortunate. There it is. Come on, get that. I need to get that other uh, target up. I want to get all the other three targets up there. Oh! I was That was another unfortunate. Tuh, how'd you like that? That was a premature... There we go. Oh, I hate that when it's like, 
probably because I'm lo looking at the wrong screen. I need to check out my other monitor here. <laughs> We're down to like the last two balls. But... Well, that did not help looking at this monitor. Those targets. Please clear those once. Come on. I'm like, come on, game. Make me play better. <laughs> ah! There we go. It's my top game so far. Oh, I thought I was gonna lose. No! 26,265. Midnight magic on the Atari 2600. Simple yet fun. Loved it. All right, and now my other pickup. This is Enduro. Uh, man, I played this for a... I, I used to play this a lot uh, back in the day. And um, I got this as uh, my buddy traded me some... I forgot what we traded. It was like... I think I had like a couple Nintendo games. And he traded me like... I don't know, like eight or ten. Like It was just like a stack of Atari games. I was like, all right, perfect. Like I was already... I had already won whatever game can't remember what game I was playing. Um, but anyways, this is going to be great because I, I cannot wait to... It, let's just get to playing some Enduro, right? <coughs> oh, excuse me. you got to remember, back in the mid-80s, this was, this was cool, man. Heck, this is even before Rad Racer. Right before. Because I was already playing Nintendo, too. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I got this obviously late. But I just like the way it looked, man. I loved, My favorite was the fog level when everything was foggy. So you couldn't see, like, half the screen ahead of you. I just thought it looked neat. Let's see if we can make it to that level. But there's nighttime. There's, there's snow. Um... It's like slippery, if I remember correctly. There's the snow. Oh! Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, I can't remember what the little car logo, like what the 144 is. Or is that my... Definitely not my speed. Might be just my time. Then my obviously my mileage is there. I am sucking. <laughs> I need to get better. Get, be better. Oh look at the sunrise or the sunset down there. So we're gonna get into nighttime. Man, I am okay, maybe I need to look at my actual monitor here. <laughs> Sometimes that latency makes a difference. Yeah, I think so. Oh. What am I? What can I say? It's been uh, I don't know a million years. Whoa! Now it's just headlights or brake lights. Why am I better at night driving? It's like the opposite in real life. Can't see a thing. Oh, is that how many cars I, I I need to get ahead? That's what it is. Okay, I couldn't remember. That was how many cars that are ahead of me. Is what that little car logo? Okay, here's the, 
Here's the fog. Ah, this is hard. This is hard. Talk about like needing those those quick reflexes on this. Ah. Love how they have magenta and then there's like a red one in there somewhere. Ah. No! I was doing pretty good. Oh, oh we're back at night. 27 cars only. Something's going on. Apologize, the cat is going nuts over here. He just can't stand to be alone for two seconds. Oh! Whoa, I didn't know, so I must have qualified. Okay, so I extended time. Oh, now I'm just crashing every other time. Dude, chill with the scratching. Just tearing things up over here. Kind of give myself a little burst just because you go super fast, you're not going to be able to just avoid it with that, you know? Whoa! Ah, I knew that was going to happen. What a great early driving game, right? I mean, I think so. Whoa! More snow, more snow. We'll go through the seasons again and then we'll end it. I don't want to do like a whole video on this. I just wanted to show you these pickups. It better just to sh than showing you the box and throwing it in on the shelf. I wanted to like show you guys these games, you know. If you've never seen them, a lot of people have. And that's fine too. It'll bring back some nostalgia, but... Yeah, this one's, it's like an, basically an optical, 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 it's an optical course for your eyeballs. No, it's, and that too, but it's an obstacle course. You just got to know when to like avoid. It's like reflexes. This game is pure reflexes. The fog will be coming up soon. That seems to be, the night and the fog seem to be the best ones on that. See, it's kind of getting back into the muscle memory of what, how to do it, you know, with the accelerator, and when to speed up, when to slow down. Here it is. Whoa! Oh, that red, the red tail-lighted car. The rest of them are a bunch of pinky Tuscaderos. Remember leather Tuscadero? Slap. Point, point. Hey, for the first time playing in a while, this is pretty cool. I might have like uh, sampled this when I was talking about some of my favorite Atari games, like a few videos. Way back. Oh, it's been a while. Though. But other than that, like to really get into this game, is that I, I wouldn't mind just doing a good run on this. Game. Um, I see that, but I just like have so much stuff going on, but it would be really cool to kind of try to do like a best of challenge. You gotta get the Atari creep to uh, to do a challenge with me on Enduro. I don't know if he put this is one of his games he likes to play, but he is the Atari creep. And I'd like to try. Maybe I should do a, a, a Atari challenge. With him. I mean, if anyone, that'd be the guy to do it, with, right? Whoa! I'd have to definitely practice this. It's been a bit, right? Right, I'm running out of time already. And now I'm not even close. I got 50, almost 60 cars. Oh. <laughs> the, the classic Atari sound. 1983. And of course, Activision.
Well, there it is. My two pickups, Midnight Magic and Enduro. Complete in box. I'm excited. I'm excited. Why did I repeat myself? I don't know. I don't know. Well, there it is. Midnight Magic, great pinball game on the Atari 2600, and Enduro, a great racing game. Now I get to put them on my shelf because we have played it, but I'd really like to, to do like a challenge with these. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, call out the Atari creep on that because who else are you going to have an Atari challenge without the Atari creep? Now I do want to get some more games and maybe do some stuff and maybe do, uh, I don't know, we'll figure something out. So if you're watching, Chris, let's let's do this. Let's do let's do an enduro and a midnight magic challenge. Anyways, until then, please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. I didn't know the camera was still on. Ugh. I'm going to see what the sports games are at. The matches.